Hi guys, I'm Jay living in Seoul. I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna talk about one of the only BTS songs we own. It was released on September 11th, 2013. It was included in the mini album Are You Late To? Let's dig into this song today. Runch Randa wa Redmon Modu Nae Ilbu. Runch Randa is the stage name that RM used before his debut. Recently, he said it was his Maple Story nickname at the time. Runch Randa was known as a talented underground rapper. When he uploaded his raps to the hip hop website, hip hop fans of the time praised him highly. However, after Namjoon debuted as rap master of BTS, when he mentioned Runch Randa, hip hop fans sarcastically criticized him, saying, How dare an idol talk about Runch Randa? This has become an example of how strongly people are prejudiced against idol groups. Konde is a word that has mentioned quite a lot in their lyrics. Konde indicates overly stubborn old people. They believe they are always right and they know all the sense of the world. They pretend to know everything and judge a person recklessly in prejudice. But these days, people think that such a tendency is not due to age, but the mind. 어린 꼰대, young 꼰대 he points to someone who pretends to know everything even though they are young. 가방끈, backstrap, is a metaphorical word that symbolizes educational background. People who have studied a lot are called 가방끈이 길다, backstrap is long. It is usually used for people who have earned degrees such as master's degree or doctor's degree. On the contrary, people who did not study much are sometimes referred to as 가방끈이 짧다. Backstrap is short. In the lyrics, backstrap means education, and short star means not being educated, pointing out that you don't know much about RM. 칠부 means 70% of the length of something. It is usually used to refer to the length of pants or sleeves, and it also used as a 부부, for meaning 50% length, or 삼부, for 30% length. So here, the word was used to mean that the hater's knowledge was only a part and lacking, just as the length of the pencil or sleeves was somewhere in the middle. The expression that already exists in the lyrics is 기염을 토하다. 기 means spirit or energy, and 염 means flame. Tuada means to vomit, so Kiyomir Tuada is vomiting the energy of flame, which means to emit strong energy very confidently. It is usually used when you bring a team to victory in a fierce game with tremendous energy. In other words, his rep exudes tremendous energy. But he tells the haters, when you throw up your cuteness. Kyom means cuteness, which is commonly used as Kyom but it is shortened to rhyme. It sounds cuter, so sounds more like teasing. That means it's just cute for him because what the haters throw up are too small and nothing. He refers to the haters as 열등감에 찬 저 모두까기 인형들. 열등감 means inferiority complex. 찬 is filled with, 인형 is dull. 까다 means peel, shell, or struck, hit. 모두까기 인형 is a word play of 호두까기 인형. 호두 means walnut. Then 호두까기 인형 is a doll that cracked the nut. So, it's a nutcracker. The pronunciation of 모두 is similar to 호두 and means every, all. And 까다 also means blame. So, 모두까기 인형 means a doll who blames anything and anyone. It means that they act like soulless dolls and that they mock endlessly. They ridicule the RM's sunglasses, hairstyles, and name. The lyrics describe how they have been horribly bullied by haters since their debut. From here on out, he presents a unique rhymes with the pronunciation of a. Many of them are onomatopoeia or mimetic words. Tok is a description of being extremely suffocating. The basic form of Tok is Tok and it means sweep or raid. 
So the line means that his rap is so intense that it sweeps them breathtakingly. 좀 텁텁하고 섭섭해하던 널 단번에 벙쪄 버리게 해. Tap tap describes something that is not clean in the mouth and powdery inside, something that is not cool and something that makes your eyes look blurry. Bangja means a state of disappointment and dissatisfaction due to frustration of expectations. Bangjida is a slang and it means you're embarrassed or puzzled. The line says haters feel as if they have powder left in their mouth and are upset and uncomfortable with the rap. It doesn't simply seem that they don't like his rap, it implies they look down on his rap. So he says, I'm gonna make you dumbfounded in an instant. In the lyrics, he points out the hypocrisy of the haters. 이렇게 뻑뻑한 가요계가 싫다면서 뻑뻑, 머리 긁는 애들의 척척, I know you suck suck. 뻑뻑 refers to something that is dry and not soft. Stiff and rigid, 가요계 means music industry. So when you say 뻑뻑한 가요계, it means that the music industry is not relaxed and flexible enough to tolerate you. Bok-bok is a description of the sound or shape of scratching or rubbing. Body is head, cook that it's scratch. So bok-bok body gungnin edil means the kids scratching their heads. This is what you do when you feel sorry and embarrassed to see something. It seems as if the establishment of Kepa music industry is saying like this. Your works are so shabby that the inflexible music industry cannot tolerate your works. Because the music industry is so strict and tight, you can't win first place or appeal on TV. I'm so sorry about that too. Let's take a look at the lyrics of Chok Chok. The word Chok Chok also exists, but in this case, one syllable of Chok is used twice. It means pretending. You can see that all of their concerns were pretentious and hypocritical, and that BTS is already aware of that as well. In Sok Sok, Sok is used twice. However, it is right to say that each syllable has a different meaning. One is quiet in Korean and the other is suck in English. When you connect it, it means I know you pretty suck. They reveal the hypocrisy of the haters and prove that it was not true. These themes also has continued in songs such as Uk, Ah, uh, and Respect. They have been talking about these things since the beginning of their debut until now. <laughs> is not an honorific word, but a very polite request to others. But takcho is a very rough expression that means to shut up. So this is a very sarcastic expression. At the beginning of their debut, they say to the haters, I don't know you and you don't know me. The phrase has since emerged in Cypher 4 as the expression, I don't know you, but you know me. It's very interesting to see how they have grown at a glance. I'm Killo, Jack the Ripper, 날 세운 혀로 널 찔러. I'm Illo, 난 게을러도 너보다는 바빠 찔려. Jack the Ripper is a killer. 날 means blade. 세우다 means erect, make something stand. 날 세운 means sharpened edge. 날 세운 혀로 널 찔러 means stab you with a sharp tongue. Here you can see two words with a similar pronunciation. One is 찔러 and the other is 찔려. 혀로 널 찔러, the basic form of 찔러 is 찌르다 and it means stab. The first one means the tongue is like a knife and stabbing you. In the second sentence, the basic form of 찔려 is 찔리다. It is used when emotions are strongly stimulated. That is to ask if you felt guilty as if you were being stabbed by something. Hippushim gadukhan nonun ije ne mite isso. You can see the word hippushim quite often in the BTS songs, especially in Suga's lyrics. It is a slang for a combination of hip hop and pride, which refers to a mind that is excessively proud of enjoying hip hop culture. In other words, he tells the haters, you talk and act as if you know everything about hip-hop, as if you were the representative of hip-hop culture. But after all, you are below me. rap black belt, green belt. Hey guys, Here the black belt refers to the highest level of taekwondo. The green belt means lower level than that. 
and it also refers to a state where development is prohibited and no development has been made at all, unlike the urban development. Yeolpuk is short for Yeoltenggam Pukbal. Yeoltenggam is a sense of inferiority, and Pukbal is an explosion. Their sense of inferiority is so excessive that they even sarcastically say it is exploding. Too cool for school hard donut, giddy boxu. Giddy boxu means standing ovation. Egon kosim chidan edirege donjinin hansu. Kosim is a combination of ko, nose, and usim, laughter. It means snort. Here, hansu rhymes with the previous giddy boxu. I'm gonna tell you one thing that currents barely know. In hansu, here, Su is a hanja sign a Korean character and it means hand. It is such an easy hanja, but Koreans rarely imagine it because it is never used in that sense in real life. It is a way of counting the number of times you take turns playing paduk, go game, or chess. And also, it means a skill of playing these games. It is commonly used with the words peuda, learn, or karichida, teach and means lesson. Usually when the word hansu is used with donjida, which means a throw, it is often used as expressions such as 마지막 hansu or 신의 hansu, which means a stroke of genius or a game changer. So it's like he's saying, too cool for school is a game changer and a lesson for haters. Okay. <laughs> Pogina means very much, and it is usually used with the predicate, 했겠네, which means I bet you did. But actually, it's an ironic expression. You could never have done that. So when you translate this line directly, it says, you congratulated me a lot, but the real meaning is you couldn't have really congratulated. If the word imek is translated into English, it might be personal connection. The people you met at school or at work, the people you met in society and your family, friends, and lovers are all included in the personal connection, but not everyone is called the inmate. Inmate is a personal connection used for practical purposes. For example, it is used when you earn revenue by using inmate, such as getting a job, expanding a business, promoting a product, or entering into a new contract, etc. So he points out that congratulations is not sincere but hypocritical to use me. 그런 거라면 내 감은 썩었어, 도련해. 감 basically means sense or feeling, and persimmon, the fruit you eat, is also pronounced the same as 감. So BTS members have often played wordplay with these words a lot. 썩었어 means it's rotten, 도련해 means cut out, so these words are natural to use on fruits. Persimmon. The gum here is the prediction, expectation. But he says your gum is rotten, so cut it out. It means you are completely wrong with that prediction, so cut it out. The reason why I put the lyrics here is not because I wanted to explain the meaning but because I was surprised that they actually kept the promise. The song was released in 2013, just three months after their debut. Isn't it so surprising that they made such bold predictions at a time when success is far away and they have only been criticized for such so much? I'm so surprised. Did you enjoy the video? If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you next time. Bye.